Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jim the Mower and today we're here to take a look at the Makita 101 piece power drill accessory set. So thanks for tuning in. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, then please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notified of every one that comes out as soon as it comes out. And we've got loads of great content for you to look at. Now, without further ado, let's open this box and see what we've got. Right, so there's a nice, tough plastic case there to put everything in. And what I would like to say first of all is, I got this from Screwfix the other day, it was 19.99. I got it on offer, bought it with my own money. Um, we're after, we're always using drill bits and stuff in our workshop, you know, we get through so many stuff. We've got DeWalt sets, uh, this Makita set, we've got a Bosch set somewhere, you lose bits, so it's always worth um, picking these up. But it was on offer, 19.99. I thought, I'll give it a go, you never know, and I'll do a video and you can see what it's all about and you can make your own mind up whether you'd like to purchase one or not. But I'll tell you what is a great idea, is on the front of this box here, we've got a diagram, we've got, well, photograph with everything in, little diagram at the top showing you different bits and some, uh, some sizes and stuff on the back, which is fantastic because a lot of these boxes and cases don't, you just have this, which is great if you're online because you can look at the description and everything, but if you're actually physically in a shop somewhere and you want to buy one, you're looking at a plastic case and you don't really have a clue what's inside, it's just sold as an accessory pack and you're picking it up a bit blind really. So that's a good start with that. They must be proud of what's in there to show it off on the box. So let's open the plastic case and see what we've got. God, it's a bit stiff. First time opening is a bit stiff. That's it, very loud click. All right, that's nice. So we've got a nice foam insert in there. That stops everything from rattling around. Although I can't see that being in there after a couple of weeks <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that'll soon be gone. Right, let me just cast my eye over this and we'll see. First thing that jumps out with me is a spirit level. Now, we don't very often use spirit levels in here. It's, you know, we don't have much call for them, but they're always a handy to, tool to have around, especially a small one like this. And I think that's, that's a magnetic strip on there. So I don't know if I can put it on the shelf behind me. There you go, we've got one there. That's all stuck on, brilliant. So that's always a handy bit of kit to, to put in there. And uh, hopefully, being in a case, it might not get lost. So let's have a look then, what have we got? We'll start off with the uh, stuff that I know about first and then we'll move on. So we've got the, the wooden drill bits down here, starting off at three mil, four mil, five, five and a half, six and six and a half. Not the greatest range of sizes, but there's enough there to get you through. If you need to go bigger, I can see over this side, we've got a 12 mil. 16 mil and a 19 mil. Now, that's when you're you know, drilling a hole through something substantial, you want to put get cables through or something. We start off at 12 mil and then 16, 19, that's a good range of sizes. If you look down at the bottom of the case here, we've got some hole saws. Now, again, they're for woodwork and if you, I don't know, putting in a washing machine or something, you've got to drill through, do a bit of plumbing, get a, some water out, some a waste in or whatever it is. These saws will happily go through chipboard, um, MDF, even solid wood, whatever your units are made out of. And these start at 32 mil, and then we've got a 38 mil, a 45 and a 54. And a 54 is quite big, as you can see. There, there's, um, there's a lot, that's a, easily get a, a, a good waste pipe through there. So that's no problem. And if you don't know how to use these, I'll just quickly explain. Now, Everything in this case is all labelled up, so we've got an arbor adapter there, and this is what these hole saws fit to. So on the top of there, there's a nut, and we can undo that nut, and that comes off. Put that to one side. Now, I'll use the biggest hole saw so it's easier to see on camera. If I hold that up to you, you can see there's a hole in the middle there, and finger through, and it's not round, it's got two flat sides. And the reason it's got two flat sides is the two flat sides on this, on the arbor bit. And when we put it together, we can lock that in. If I put it round the right way for starters, it does help. We can lock that in, 
and it will lock down on there and that's done. We can then put the nut back on behind it. And I can't remember which way this has to go down. The other way. <laughs> you never get it right first time. The nut goes down, it's got a hollow side on it and the hollow side goes down. The hollow side goes down and it clamps that up there, onto there. So you've already drilled your pilot hole with a smaller wood bit, then you can put this in the center of the pilot hole, go in nice and steadily, and the uh, hole saw will catch on the outside and just take it nice and steady, nice and easy, and go through and pull out and you should get a nice disc in there and a decent hole to feed whatever you've got to feed through it. So that's how to use those. I'll put these away because if you don't put them away, you soon end up with bits missing out of your case, which, as I said before, we've got loads of these cases with half the stuff missing. No, normally, normally 10 mil, 10 mil sockets and posi two drives. They're the, they're the things that go. So let's clip that back in. Right. So that's the wood. That's the wood drills covered on there. Next, we've got masonry drills. The masonry drills, again, they run from three mil up to six and a half mil. Now, I've never used a three mil masonry drill in my life. Um, I don't really know if I ever would. I'm sure there's a use for them somewhere or else they wouldn't really put them in the kit. But um, I've never used one. What I tend to normally use, the smallest one's probably about a five mil that we put a little plug in there or we put a, a, a piece of wood in instead of a raw plug and then we, we screw into that. And we use up to like six and six and a half. They're quite handy use for around the house or um, shed and workshop. So they're not so bad. Then we move on to the metal drill bits. And again, we start off at three mil. Now a three mil is always handy in metal drill bits because when we're drilling metal, um, we're normally working on sort of, even with big machines, there's normally quite small holes. And because the metal can be tough, sheet metal, we normally put a pilot through with a three mil first, or maybe a four mil, and then we'll enlarge it and, and go bigger, just to save the wear and tear. But that does mean that these three mil ones, they very often get quite hot and they get bent and they get broken. So unfortunately, there's only one in here and I can't see it lasting long, but at least it's there to get you started. So if you're you know, using it around the house, they'll probably last you a good while in there. So that's all the drill bits covered. Now we can look up at the top and we've got some sockets here. Oh, it's not quite the drill bits covered yet. I missed one out. There's a counter sink up here. Now the counter sink is like a small domed over drill bit. And if you're doing anything, any woodworking or furniture, anything that you like to make nice, you can put a counter sink on there. And when you put your screw in, your screw will sit flush with the surface or you can put it a little bit lower and you can go below the surface, put some wood filler over the top and then colour it in or paint it in or whatever and you won't even know it's there. So that's what a counter sink's for. I'll never use that so it'll just stay in the box forever. We've also got a couple of other bits up here, two plastic finders and some of these little collars. Now I'm not sure what these collars are for, they're with a hex key and they look like they fit onto something and you can tighten them up. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe there might be a depth stop or something for a drill. Um, say if you only want to drill sort of six, seven, eight mil deep, you'll put one of these collars on and, and that'll stop you going in. But I'm not sure. And with the plastic finders, I'm definitely not sure. I'll get one out for you. They look like they're both the same size. They're just tiny little plastic collar almost. Um, I don't know what they're for. Maybe you know. Pop it in the, in the comments section below and then I'll put it in the description and I can let everybody else know. That would help me out. So that's the top of that bit finished. Now we move on to these bits down the bottom. And this is where this case differs from other cases we've had. Because in here, as well as the uh, spirit level that I was on about, there's actually a screwdriver, a magnetic screwdriver. There's nothing in the end of it, but it takes all these bits in here and all these bits they're just labelled up as bits. So bits, 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 bits. That's all they are, just labelled up across there. But you can see quite clearly on them, they're, they're posi drives, Phillips drives, flatheads, um, star drives, the, the T20s and, and T whatever, the torque drives I think they are, and then the hex keys. And then these are just longer versions of them over on this side. So the longer versions, you can pop those straight into your drill or driver and they'll work. You could even use them in this if you wanted. The shorter versions you can put straight into this and they'll hold perfectly well 
or if you want to use the shorter ones, if you've lost these, bent them, broke them, whatever it is, or you've got a, a different way to get in, you need to, the magnetic extension bit, which will fit in your drill and driver, and then you can pop these small ones in, which is always a bonus. I'm just going to put one of these flathead ones in now, just to make sure it works properly. If I can get one out of the case, I can. So I've got that out of the case there. That's a six mil one across. So it's a little six mil flathead bit. And we've got the holder there, line it up, and in it goes. And it's magnetic, so it won't come out. You've got no need to worry about that. You can do whatever you're doing. Take that out. When you take it out, put it back in. It's easy for me to say, eh? Put it back in and put it in the case. We lose more of these bits and pieces than anybody I know, so I won't hold it against you if you don't keep it all neat and tidy. Right, so let's have a look at the range of sizes in these bits. We've got the posi ones, they're the, the smaller ones for the little small sort of crosshead screwdrivers. There's, um, there's two of those in there. The posi twos, they're the sort of standard ones really, they're the ones we use the most. They get chewed up a lot as well when you're using them. Don't use cheap screws, there's a tip for you. When you use cheap screws, these better drill, these better screwdriver bits, when you put them through, they will grip and if the screw starts to stop or slow down, these will carry on at speed and they'll chew the head off. And I'm sure we've all done it before. You just think a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And before you know it, it's completely bald and you're in there trying to drill it back out and whatever. So it causes problems. Don't use cheap screws. Buy the best screws you can afford really and take it steady when you're using these bits because if you chew these bits up, if you chew the screw up and then chew these bits up, you really add it, you're onto new bits again then. So that's just a bit of advice. So then we're onto the Posi 3s, we've got a couple of those and then we've got Phillips size 1, 2 and 3 again, they handle Posi 3 handle quite a big screw. Onto the, the flatheads, we've got a couple of 3 mils, a couple of 4 mils, a couple of 4.5 mils, a couple of 6 mils, a 7 mil and an 8 mil. Now again, an 8 mil flathead screwdriver, that is quite a big screw, so you've got a good range of sizes on there. And then below there, we've got the torque bits. T10, 15, 20, 20, 25, 27 and 30. They're like little star keys, they'll go in, a lot of furniture uses that sort of stuff now. And they're using it a lot more in engineering, so we are using a lot of those. And again, the hex keys now. So these are like Allen keys, where you would use an Allen key before to tighten things up. You might have a big ring of Allen keys or a, a separate wallet of Allen keys. And as we all know, you lose the odd one here and there. These are these will fit in there and they're like size, they're four, five, six and seven mil. So good range of sizes there really for what we sort of need. Now these ones over here, again, these are longer. These are hex ones, they'll fit straight into your, your drill or, or driver. And these um, start off basically, they've got the, the, the Phillips one, two and three again. We've got a couple of flatheads, three, four and five. We've got the, the, the torque. Um, keys there, T10, 20, 25, 27. They're just replicated across in a, in a longer section. So these are for your screwdriver really, and these are for your driver. However, if you want to put the shorter ones in your driver, you've got a magnetic holder as well there. So you can use that with it. Again, P, PZ ones or the posi ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, but there's an added one over here. There's a PZ zero. Now, that must be smaller than the PZ1. I've never actually seen a Posi Zero. Um, I don't know if I hold those up to the camera. Hopefully you can see the range of sizes there. And that's the Zero. And then that's up to the Posi 3. So that's that. Pop those back in there. And then the only other thing in this case that I haven't mentioned, and he's labelled up on there. Oh no, I haven't gone through the sockets yet, have I? We've got the centre punch here. Now the centre punch, you can use that, wood, metal, anything you like. If you want to put a hole in something, especially good for metal, because sometimes it's hard to, to get an impact on there. With a, a, a wooden drill bit, you've got that tip on the front there, and that can push straight in, and it gives you a bit of a key to start with. But when you're drilling metal, sometimes it's not so easy. We've got a centre punch there. We can put that down, knock a little hole in, and then the drill bit will sit in that divot. And as I say, when we're drilling metal, we always start off small and we progressively get bigger and widen the hole. Less wear and tear on the drill bit, less wear and tear on the actual drill itself, really. So that's it. And I forgot to mention the sockets, didn't I? So we've got a couple of five mil sockets at the top. 
they're always handy to have. Um, a five and a half, there's only one of those, and then two of the six mils. We don't really use the five ones much. We do use the six mil ones um, in the sort of engineering and the, and the mower repairs and stuff that we do. So they'll come in handy. Seven mil, there's, oh, there's a couple of sevens as well. Eight, nine, ten. 10 mil is always handy. You could have done with about half a dozen of those in the box because I'm sure we all lose 10 mil ones, 10 mil spanners, 10 mil sockets all the time. So there's 10 mil there and then we can come up. You've got 11, 12 and 13 mil as well. So we've got the 13 mil one that fits on the end. And again, they've got the hex shank on them so they'll fit easily into your driver. Or if you're happily just turning them in by hand, these will fit into the screwdriver as well, the little uh, attachment that we've got there and uh, you can tighten these nuts and bolts up by hand, which is always handy. So there you go then, that's it. That's a quick overview of the case. As I say, 1999 at Screwfix. You make up your mind whether it's good value or not. I've bought it. I'm sure we'll use most of the stuff in here and I'm sure within 12 months, we'll have lost, broke, bent, whatever, most of it in here, and then we'll be in the market for another one. Oh, see, I've already forgotten to put the foam back in. <laughs> It'll, it'll never last the week, never last the week. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you found it informative, help you make a decision when purchasing things. If you can, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, give me the thumbs up. Anything nice to say, pop it in the comments below. I'm always happy to read them and I'll reply wherever I can. I'm Jimmy the Mower, I'll catch you on the next one.